Escape engineers inspect the summary video. We're here <coughs> in uh, Union, West Union Ave, I believe. And what we have here is a fire escape that is a diamond plate fire escape, severe corrosion. And at this time, um, it is not able to take a load test. Fire escape must pass a confidence test in order to proceed to a load test. We've got too much corrosion excessive corrosion, excessive rust jacking, some ice jacking happening on the entire structure. So the authority having jurisdiction shall accept by low test or other evidence of strength. We cannot provide either one. We cannot provide a low test. We cannot provide other evidence of strength. The fire escape needs major uh, work done to it in order for it, then, it to then be 
load tested. We can spot repair this fire escape, but it's going to be quite extensive spot repairing and then proceed to a load test. Or we can fully refurbish this load test, uh, this fire escape, provide other evidence of strength to the official, and avoid the load test. Uh, I believe this fire escape is at that point where uh, the work that's going to be needed is, uh, is considered refurbishment, and that full refurbishment will forego the load test because you've got quite a bit here that just needs. So I'll go and speak. Um, number two, we have lead issues. This fire escape is older than 1978, so it does have lead. So you have to meet two standards. The EPA requires that you have a renovator's license in order to touch this fire escape. Dealing with anything with the lead-based paint, collect all the chips, make sure you don't contaminate the area. Your firm must be registered with the EPA, and you must have licensed renovators repairing, scraping, and, uh, and painting this fire escape. The other concern that you're going to have in dealing with the lead on this is that all your employee, uh, all your <coughs> repair vendors must have OSHA compliant um, documentation regarding their employees and the handling of anything with lead. So make sure you meet both the EPA and the OSHA requirements regarding safety for the men handling lead and also EPA requirements to make sure you don't contaminate this site. All right, let's talk about the fire escape. Quite a bit wrong. A uh, lot of this fire escape uh, has not seen a, repay, a major repair in many, many years. This is at least 15 plus years to 25 years worth of excessive rust corrosion. A lot of these treads, you know, um, I don't know if somebody just threw a quick paint job, but the, the corrosion is excessive for, for both above and below to the point that it's eaten and it's eating all the way through. The treads, they're all the way through eaten here. A lot of that can be from them handing uh, and putting a lot of salt. These diamond plate staircases, their biggest problem is the salt content that people, to get the ice and snow off of this, they throw salt on this only and it eats up your fire escape. So if you put a new fire escape here, you put one with the, the grating that lets the snow pass, some of these problems are going to be alleviated. You got rust to the point where it's already eaten all the way through on a lot of these treads, eaten all the way through, eaten all the way through <coughs> to the point where it's broken there, as you can see, eaten all the way through. Look at that, see? Eaten all the way through. It just gets worse. We also have the pieces tying into the uh, into the into the asphalt since there seems to be a lot of gas cans floating around here. We got a gas can up there. That's a life safety issue. This is gas cans, so we got to be very careful. <coughs> but these are rotting into the ground. So a lot of rotten piece. A lot of these right here. As you can see, all of that is lifting, rust jacking, ice jacking. Look, this is all rotted out. This all has to come out of here. All of this, just eating. So all these, a lot of these plates can be <clears throat> repaired, but a majority of these plates just have to be re uh, repaired. I mean, uh, replaced as opposed to repaired. Some of these angles, the, the corrosion has eaten the entire angle here, and so there's nothing left. I mean, I can just keep pulling away the rust in pieces. This is. There's nothing left. All these bolts have to be changed out. 100% of these treads have to be removed, cleansed, primed, silicone shut, put back. Some of them have to be repaired or replaced because the, the corners are all eaten out. So I feel that you're going to replace some of these treads with 25% or get these treads out of here. And then what you're going to do is replace them with standard grating that lets the snow pass through. We got machines and stuff down here, which is another safety issue, burning tires. These are all things that should never be underneath a fire escape. Looking underneath, we've got rot. The same thing as that platform. Look at all that rot that's happening against the building. So that's not safe. This, this diamond plate up there, we have to clean all that rust out, silicone shut everything, and then <coughs> bolt everything back. You can't weld on this fire escape, and a lot of these connections are welded. Have to be turned over to mechanically fastened connections because you can't weld on anything that has lead. So as you can see, straight up, some of this some of this diamond plate, you know, you can sister it and put little patches here and there. But I highly recommend that based on the thinness of the material, and some of it only after you remove it do you know how thin the material got that, you know, the recommendation is just already put in some new plate or put this all back to grating so that the snow just falls through, back to grating so that this all snow falls through and just get rid of this diamond plate, which is when it accumulates snow and ice and it's the first thing to freeze over in the uh, winter, people tend to throw uh, salt on it. That's the first thing they do, and that, <clears throat> that is eating this, this fire escape to death. We got a lot of pieces into the ground. 
and a lot of these pieces in the ground they're rotting at the ground because you know nobody's sealing the ground to get to stop the water from rotting looks like they they got a wood post here where they used to be I don't know what's going on here but it used to be probably they it, it was starting to bulge up there it looks like it bulged so they reinforced the leg there should be steel and it looks like it's just sitting on top of on top of asphalt that one too is a kicker one that just came up and showed up as you can see <coughs> it's not sitting on a sauna tube or anything or a foundation of any kind so improper support it's just too much stuff around here so the fire escape at this time does not pass inspection cannot proceed to a load test and it does it, it's it's one of these fire escapes that the uh, I would say would have some life safety issues and that I don't trust that this can basically hold firemen going up and tenants coming down there's some ability for some of these trips to give way so the life safety issue is now really on the on the tread sections here that I don't think they can support a load and um, if you have any questions Firescape Engineers inspect the summer video inspect the Manessas here 800-649-3333 800-649-3333 for any information. Thank you.